Hi, Tracy. Oh, it's Digi with his new fancy uh, emotes that he's working on. Look, he's waving hi to me. Now, Dig, we all know that that is not the emote that you think of when you think of me. Um, we know it's a quite different emote uh, that you use anytime you think of Jammer. So I'm happy because they had the big, uh, that's it. That's the one. So I'm addicted, but I'm also happy because I normally use the pro mods map, which is a lot more detailed of a map. And, uh, they have part of the, they didn't do the middle East update, but they, um, Euro truck had a big update. And so then the mods weren't working. So then they, um, they got the one fixed. But right now I'm using the vanilla map because uh, World of Trucks, which ties into Euro Truck, does events, and um, all, all the throughout the place there's a um, transporting Thrustmaster steering wheels event, and you have to do five of them. And so I'm gonna try and get those five knocked out tonight. First town I'm in right now, there isn't one of those, so I'm gonna see anytime we. Look for a new delivery. We're going to try and pick up the steering wheel ones. And hopefully I can start knocking those out. And then get the other map done. So we'll do some driving. Good old boring driving again. Hey kids, Big Ben, Parliament. I didn't use that title tonight. I know we had talked about using it. You know, and I'll say it uh, again if uh, other people pop in later. Um... My addiction to uh, the, the truck sim is the reason why we couldn't go tonight is because I was just upset that I couldn't drive my truck. So, um, and I didn't have time earlier to drive my truck. So it's, uh, it's all my fault because I, I'm a professional truck driver, driver and I need to make, I need to get some euros. We got to earn. And I had to, and I had to change my shirt. Because I had a costume. Uh, it was a minor costume, but... Um, yeah, and who's causing a traffic jam? And that's why I eventually paused it. Um, so then I also had to get changed. Because I have a minor costume. It's not a major costume. It's an ode. Right, let's do some driving while I talk so we can crash. Alright. I, I forget what I'm... Oh, we're picking up watermelons. Let's get some watermelons. And we're in Germany right now. And I'm going to change my levels a little bit. Right now I'm also getting angry at the 76ers because they're down by 11 right now to the Knicks. So that just makes me want to drive at the wall. Yes, I, I, the last time I hide, was that the train incident? I think that was the train incident. We had watermelon, didn't we? Yeah, and Tracy got whiplash from it. I, I injured Tracy. Oh, let's everybody wave hi to John as we drive by. Hi, Johnny! Have fun on your tractor! Alright. Here we go. We waved hi to John. Turn right. I don't even remember where we're going. We're in Berlin right now. We're going to uh, Dresden. You have arrived at your no, I think we, this, we might have just pulled into the Hustler driveway, too, and all this mud. Tractors everywhere. This is like Johnny's... This is porn to John. Johnny loves his tractors. Even if he says he doesn't, I'm sticking to it. So we're going to try, anytime we get somewhere, we're going to look for steering wheel deliveries. We just need to do five of them. And then what World of Trucks, actually, they're doing a giveaway for an actual new Thrustmaster wheel. 
but um, you also get in-game crap when you do these events. So like, uh, I think they're giving out like a uh, like little pedals, um, you know, Thrustmaster pedals that you could put on your dash there. All right, this is a ten-minute real-time drive. Man, right, let's go. Get these watermelons done. Actually, it makes sense that I'd be picking the watermelons up here. And who doesn't want 20 tons of watermelons? Turn right. Every time I see traffic now, we know who I blame, Tracy. Oh, look. Oh, wait. Look, you see him? Like, what are they doing? Like, well, these times I'm just going. Oh, yeah. See, this jerk was not... Yep, we're going. If he hits me... If he hits me, he hits me. If he dies, he dies. Poor Tracy now gets to blame anytime I have any traffic in this game whatsoever. It's all on her. We'll hope it's been a nasty day here with the nor'easter, but hopefully um, the winds are supposed to really pick up overnight uh, as it continues to circle on out into the ocean there. So hopefully, um, hopefully we stay solid. Let me knock on some wood there. Get ready. Turn right. Well, uh, let's now let's look at the evidence. Okay. Yes, we were in LA that time. And there wasn't that much traffic. There's no traffic light that I could see here. And you said something. And now, when there is traffic, where would the evidence lead to who hacked my computer and added more traffic to this game? Oh, we're going. I don't know if I had a green light. We're doing it. And who knows if there's a turn on red in Germany. We're rebels that way. Yeah, that's true. You do, actually. That's, that's truth. All right, let's, let's take care of this. Take care of some business here. So I was ready to do the pro mods, but sometimes the world of trucks ones because the pro mods adds new locations and stuff. Sometimes it, it don't like it. You know, you get to a job and it's uh, it won't sync with their servers because in their world it doesn't exist because of the vanilla map. So since I'm trying to do this event, that's why we're, I'm going to use just the vanilla maps right now. So sorry, Tracy, that um, you know we weren't able to go live tonight, but um. Still got Thursday coming. Damn, every day they emerge. Oh, Jesus, that guy just slammed into me. Did you see that? He just hit the watermelons. Now there's smashed watermelons all over the back of the truck. All from that guy. Clearly his fault. I think there's a guy in my blind spot. No, maybe not. There's a guy coming up now, though. I'm trying to get over. I think the guy in my mirror right now is the guy that I just hit. Come on. That dude just passed me. And now, oh, see, look at this. He's being a jerky Ledoux. We've all, we've all run into those drivers. 
They fly by you. Then they slow down. And then they fly by you. We've all run into that. Oh, six or six or six or six. I got another week, then I gotta change my truck. I gotta get out of the Halloween. I'm gonna miss the pumpkin on my dash because when I when I move the wheel back and forth, he shakes his head. Kind of reminds me of Dig because when I do this, Dig always is like, anytime I say something to Dig, he's like, no jammer. Right. See, same thing, no jammer. See who else can slam into me. I will stop blaming you for traffic most of the time, Tracy. We got blues on tonight. I said most of the time, so do please remember that. Are you are those those cookies you talked about before? You'd share with us? Oh, you know what I meant to do tonight that Oh, that's cool. I forgot tonight I wanted to measure the chair that I currently have so I can order my new chair and I forgot to do that. So now I'm going to delay getting my new chair again. So the mouse hood should be finished tonight. That's very uh, fitting that Tracy's talking about finishing up the mouse hood while um, Didge is ordering cookies which attract the mouse is the cookies and the cookie crumbs. So therefore your two things that you're talking about are now connected. Cause I'm sure the mouse would love some last crumb cookies. I know nothing about last crumb cookies minus the time you said something was sold out or whatever. I don't remember. Right. Yeah. What if you give a mouse a cookie? Isn't that a children's book? I think it is, right? Or you, uh, you know, if you want to go to mice, you go to the business one. Who moved my cheese? Yeah. Yeah, considering you and I have older kids, I have not read that book in quite some time either. But I remember that book. And then I had, like, if you gave him this and this and this and that or whatever. But kudos to you, actually, for remembering that book. Because your child is a little bit older than mine. Oh, there's a pretty spot, huh? In Germany. Oh, we got a... Boy, that's a big loop to get off this exit, huh? This will go well. What? A hundred and forty dollars for a dozen cookies. Yeah, I was about to say.
I don't know what cookie would be worth $120 for a dozen. And Didge knows. Didge knows me. I, I play the game that I'm cheap, but I'm really not. Yeah, man. I'm, you know, I, you know, I play the game that I'm cheap, but I really am not. And I, I waste money on stupid shit all the time. Hell, I've, I've been looking at getting the eye tracker stuff for, for while I play this game. Uh, I can't see the damn light again. But $120 for a cookies? See, luxury cookies to me is just reading a term that rich people think they're exclusive rich cookies. They're probably like Oreos, you know, and then, but because they put their label on it or whatever, and rich people are like, ooh. See, but those are use. Did you eat those cookies? They're, they're a limited to time use until they come out, you know, elsewhere. Oh, I just went through a red light reading chat. Let me go hide my license plate up top there so you guys don't report me. I mean, that, that's insane, though. A cookie. I mean, because it's not like a sneaker where you could... What are you going to do? Put cookies in, like, some cabinet that they're eventually going to go bad? I mean, you're going to eat them, right? No, oh, I'm going way under a speed limit. See, Tracy's eyes are practical. Yay, we discovered Dresden. We did it. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Nothing like having parents emailing you. Oh. Yeah, I am not saying what the name of this song is. Wow. Thank goodness I paid for the premium pretzel. Because that, that title is uh, not appropriate in today's world. Here, then hopefully the next job we get some steering wheels. We gotta keep looking for those. They sold out for a, in a minute at that price. This, this is what is wrong with society. Go straight on. And twelve bucks a cookie. Man, I got all this work crap happening all at once. Always the case. I have been tempted to start trying to back these things in, even though I, I know how it will end. Instead of just parking them here. The unprofessional I'll use my hazards when I'm delivering. I don't know if we're going to be straight enough. Oh, we got it. Of course we did. All right, let me answer this uh, text real quick. Take care of this. Um, I'm 
Sorry, I gotta answer this. The Halloween trail thing. Now, I will give credit that I'm intrigued of what they could taste like at that price. Now, I'm trying to think. If I went somewhere and... Does anybody remember malls that they have where you were the original cookie company? And like they were in malls and then they would have like the birthday cake type of giant cookie with frosty frosting around the edges or whatever. Yes, my kid something and Mrs. Fields is very similar. Yes. Sorry, I asked my kids something. What's up, Raxus? So you worked there and all the cookies came in plastic tubs at Mrs. Fields. And then there was the original cookie company. Now, I'm imagining one of those giant... Braxis, would you pay $140 for a dozen cookies? I would imagine, like, if you bought one of them big ones, they were probably, like, $10 to $15. So what is the size of this $140 dozen cookies thing? All right, let's try and find... Hopefully, we got some steering wheels on this one. There we go. We got a job. Holy crap. We got a job and it's a crazy long one. We'll only get one done. See, then, okay, now we're out. See, so this is the jobs we want. But Jammer, Jammer, I mean, I could do this drive. But, I mean, we're looking at... <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks, Braxis, right? So $140 for a dozen of slightly, slightly larger than a normal size cookie. So is this cookie like a... Like an Oreo, when I eat an Oreo, it's it's like a you know, you throw the Oreo in the mouth and then you know, it's not like I bite, you know, I'm not I'm not like you know, when you keep biting like a sandwich, you generally like I the Oreo just goes in. So is this like a, a one bite, a, a a two bite cookie? Alright, so since we I'm I don't really I just gotta do five of these damn things, so I don't wanna take all night just to do one. So let's look for another town we haven't unlocked. I've been to Frankfurt, I believe. Or we see if there's another wheel job, but I think there's only generally one on the spot. Uh, okay, I've been there in Austria. Gas pipeline parts, oh boy. Well, I haven't been there. That's a little bit longer job. Yes, I have done the Oreo dunk. Yeah. Okay, so two people could split them. That's still. So now you're looking at four bites. So now you're doing a math of um, $3 a bite. That's still. See, now I've done two, and now they sell the big the Oreos now. They sell the big stuff. I've done the... Um, oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. We got it. All right, this one's better. This will get us one done. Let's see if there's one closer. You know, I, I I have the history of taking the oh there's steering wheels everywhere. Uh the double the double stuffs. Taking the two lids off and then combining. So you get that, that like quadruple stuff deal. Now they sell now the big stuff, which is basically what I've been doing with the doubles. But if you take two of the big stuffs and you cramp them together, it's like it's it's over cream. Over processed cream on top of that. All right, that job is an eight-hour one. That's right, longer. Nope, longer. Okay, 
We're going to take the shorter one because we're just trying to bang out five of these. I don't think I'll get them all done tonight, honestly. All right. Nope, that wasn't it. Oh. Yeah. All right, let's get this one done at least. And it'll be one done. See, now my winning, um, if you're talking about grocery store cookies, generic. Whoa, the truck's moving. Um, if you're just talking about like that. I'm a fan of, and they're crazily priced, these damn Oreos. I like the, uh, they're the, they're the mint. There's a couple Oreos that I like it right now. There's a peanut butter pie one that I can eat like tons, too many of those. I just like devour them. Like, you know, it's my only meal I've ever had. I'm like, Rrr! and then, um, I have the mint, uh, the mint ones, uh, with the fudge cover on them. I like those too. So are these other cookies, these ones you're looking at, did you, or are they same, the, the same crazy price place? Oh, damn it. There was a question mark the other way. Go straight on. Um, damn it. I can't turn here. I want we're, we're going to nobody. Everybody not look. Hold on. Uh, let me, uh, we're, we're going to do something we shouldn't be doing on the road. Okay. So we're doing a no, no. So everybody just look away for a minute. Doing no no. I nobody sees anything. <laughs> That's good practice. <laughs> oh no no no! They they uh, construction guys need help taking that sign down. Okay, we want to hit this question mark while we're going to deliver. Finding a new route. Yeah I know yeah I know she's mad at me it's okay. She'll forgive me. She'll still give me directions. All right, I'm doing too many things at once. Looks like we got a truck dealer, maybe? Okay, we got that one done. All right. That's like all my work, like work is just problem working where I work. Whoa, man. Truck coming through. Where is this cookie company located? In Willy Wonka land? I mean, like, are Oompa Loompas making these cookies? Oh, it's, you know, we're, we're, uh, we're Halloween in it. Okay. Uh, here comes the rain again. So was there, so on, was $140, was that including, um, shipping? Man, I am getting killed. With work. I'm on duty this weekend, so I'm getting... So free sh they should free ship it. They should hand they should have the Oompa Loompa hand deliver it to you for that price. All right, let's get these steering wheels. Turn right. You have All right, where's our trailer? There it is. All right, let's, let's try and blow this back up. All right, and we gotta do everything proper now. We gotta get our lights on. I don't think I planned this one right. 
We're, oh, you know what? If we hit it in reverse, chat, it helps. Word to the wise. Five dollars a cookie. Okay, so you you might have done it at sixty. Is that what what number is your breaking point for them? And it's interesting for somebody to eat salads a lot and stuff that uh this this is your interest here. Oh man, I and like everybody's just are right, we going forward? Oh, this trip's gonna take us a while. This is like a 30 minute trip. We're just gonna do four more of these. So you, that was gonna be your splurge. I mean, if you want to splurge on something, I can give you a wish list. You know, on my only jammer uh, website. Oh, that blue car. That was almost ugly for them. That's true. It should be one big ass cookie. Watch that you don't realize the size of them, did and you bought them and like there's like an 18 wheeler with a fork, a forklift that has to unload them on a pallet. Your sir is your big ass cookie. Where are we going? We're going to Poland, I think. So, yep. Yeah, so you've seen them there. Come on. Work, work, work. Um, so you've seen them there. So do you think they're paying influencers on these things or... Or is like Tom Cruise gobbling these cookies in his own, uh, his own area. I mean, you saw what influencers did to Fire Island, right? That, you, you never know if you bought those cookies, that could have been your Fire Island incident. Next thing you know, you're going to some grungy island at a music festival that doesn't exist. So maybe this like was an intervention in a sense. Keep left and then turn left. Turn left. I really do not like how these the traffic lights here really suck. All right, so here, yeah, look at that. We got a Thrustmaster T two forty eight. So that's what they're promoting here. Uh, my left shoulder. Does he look angry? Perhaps I should feed him a cookie. By the way, how is your campaign going, Bractus? I'm not a fan of spiders either. I, I am not a spider guy. So at our, uh, at the school I work at, we've done trips before to, um, uh, we do a trip to Panama every once in a while. And, um, I've had colleagues that have had like a baby tarantula on their pillow and I'm like, okay, not going there. Um, there was this one thing one time in Ecuador and there was, uh, some massive spider on a toilet seat and I'm like, okay, not going there. I'll, I'll stay here with the tiny little spiders. But, but still, I don't like either. That's true. D the true fact, digital, digital had a snake in his home. Very six. All right. That's a fantastic. And all the work you put into it is amazing, Braxis. And so generous of you. But yes, true fact, digital. Yeah, I saw the evidence. He had a snake in his home. And it wasn't the trouser one.
All right, let's go to Poland. We got a bunch of Thrustmaster steering wheels to deliver. Speaking of black snakes, I've never seen that uh, movie, but um, made me think of uh, that Samuel L. Jackson, Christina Ricci there. Black Snake Bone, was it? Good movie. <laughs> no, Digital's still stuck in his attic. He has not gone down to where the snake was. I used to love when I had cats and uh, if we ended up getting a mouse and um, they would think it's a toy and, you know, they would either, you know, keep it in their mouth and then drop it or ignore it. And I'm like, man, you sleep 16 hours a day in this house and I feed and clean up your crap. You got one job to do in this house and that's to kill the mice. Cruise control set. It's a little foggy out in Germany as we go to Poland. Hopefully, uh, Border Patrol doesn't stop us. We got our Thrustmaster wheels. That actually looks like a sweet wheel, to be honest. But my wheel is... I love my Thrustmaster uh, TMX. But, you know, it's it's older. Well, this is great. We can see all the beautiful Germany in this fog. It is a little, where is that? Is it over here? A little dusty over here where that spider is. How did you? I don't even remember how. You, how did you take care of it? Did you have a stare down with the snake? There's only room in this home for one of us, Mr. Snake. Shovel. Now, the <laughs> there's multiple. There's multiple ways with the shovel there. There's the, the smasher Rooney or the scoop and throw. I <laughs> shit myself. <laughs> yeah, see, Braxis would still be. Ah, so the smash. Yeah, see, Braxis would still. Why is there fog in the tunnel? All right, realism. Now, now we're having realism problems here. I mean, this is a mod that I use, so. It's realistic rain. Yeah, well, yeah, you're like, wondering what the hell else is in there. I wonder, like, he must have, I mean, we've had in our dormitory, not my building, but another one, I had to get a snake out that had kind of, started going in the tunnel was worse than outside oh we're coming to Poland I think all right as soon as we get to Poland it stopped raining oh and I just turned the cruise off uh, I said a wrong button. We're doing too much. Get the lights off. It was like right at the border. It was like no more rain.
Ah, uh, actually, uh, my other home. So I'm in Connecticut, but I have a home in the Poconos in Pennsylvania. We we have rat rattle snakes there. Have you ever had the fun one for me who doesn't like spiders, where you uh, you try and get one that like might be like in the bathroom or your bedroom, and then they get away, and it's like near bedtime, and now you're trying to go to bed, and there's some spiders somewhere, and you have no idea where it is, and they're so damn small that you know you're not gonna find it, and then you try and have to go to sleep, knowing that at some point in the middle of the night it could put you in a web and eat you. Hugging that shoulder too much. Interesting, because with the wheel, I feel like I'm too far left, but I'm not. <laughs> well, I mean, sometimes you can't see him on the road like that. We we have that up here in Connecticut near the the um, you know not an oops, but a. Oh, it isn't ups, I guess. This is legit ups. But with the ponds and everything, at the like in the spring or whatever, when the frogs are going crazy, and if you're driving on the road, it's impossible. There are frogs everywhere. You cannot avoid them. You're going to smash some of them. Actually, there's no border. We had no... Uh, some of the places in here, you actually have to check get your papers checked and all but i guess uh, germany to poland you just uh, drive on through or they know that we're carrying uh thrustmaster um t uh 248s oh wait what are we supposed to do uh oh we got problems Ooh. that was almost dangerous they take away my professional truck driver skills This guy's coming a, carrying a helicopter or something, so he's taking up a lot of space there. Get in the chopper! I mean, I'm no expert, but couldn't you just fly the chopper to where it needs to be? But that's always been my killer there, you know, that that little spider and next thing you know, they're, they're free and they're somewhere in your place and it's time to go to bed and you haven't found them. And you wonder if they have like the vindictive mind, like you tried to kill me, you bastard. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to get you while you sleep. That's what I could see happening. All right, we got another 14 minutes of real time here. My Sixers are getting creamed. Not good. No, they don't. Um, that would be... I Actually, I brought that up. So in the American truck sim, though, there, there is tumbleweeds, but no. Yeah, like all of a sudden there's like a deer that comes running by and now I got like uh, venison that I can haul. Maybe there's tiny spiders and snakes that I'm not seeing. And totally not a dumb question. I've actually, when I've streamed this game before, brought that up about like animals and stuff. Like if they, if that'd be cool. Same thing. Like I've like things that they don't do, but it's like, uh, you know, when you're in Europe and you're doing the different countries, like and they're checking your paperwork and like one time they'll be like, no, you can't come. One of these cars is going to change lane as soon as I pull out. Oh, they didn't need that sign. Just helping them out. It, it had a, um, a sign, like a little rope around it saying, take the sign down. They help the workers out. Oh, we don't want to hit that. So Johnny would love it. Right. 
Okay, like here, that'd be primary. Like some animal come running right down that hill. Or squirrels. They should have squirrels because those damn rats with tails can't make up their mind what direction they want to run. And you as a car are like trying, you know, trying not to hit them. And they're like, oh my God, should I go this way? Should I? And they start dashing back and forth. And, and, and you swerve your car and you slam into a tree because you avoided the squirrel. The, yeah, so practice the, the wheel makes a huge difference. Um, you know, the guys rip on me sometimes. That's actually pretty right here. Um, they make fun of me, but like even when I'm not streaming this game, I can watch a movie, you know, it, you just kind of chill. It's great that way. So I love it. You know, and, and you're in America, the American truck sim's great too. There's more map in Euro. I think Euro's been out for like, I don't know, six years at least, if not longer. And then there's stuff like there's Truckers MP, so you can uh, join other communities and uh, drive with other truckers. But the wheel, the wheel makes it makes it a, a way bigger than you know using keyboard. I've done that on keyboard. And the wheel gives you the feel that you're you're driving. That's why I tell the guys that I'm a professional driver now. I keep seeing these Best Buy commercials with these tech, the, the yearly tech deal, and I'm like, I already have that. I got digital. And he comes at a better rate. Cryptic, how are you? So Cryptic, I didn't, I have the, the, the Europe Pro mods is updated, but I didn't put it on because I'm trying to do the, uh, I'm doing some of the Thrustmaster runs. This is my first one. I hope you're feeling better. Yeah, thanks, uh, Braxis, for sticking around, and uh, hopefully no snakes come in your home, because I wouldn't want you to have to shit yourself. That's good, so you're on, on the road to recovery. Thanks for hanging out, Braxis. Right. Well, that's good that you're starting to improve. I don't think Cryptic would buy a $140 box of dozen cookies. Ah, so you, you got it finally decent, nice sleep. Okay, I don't see a signal on you, Mr. Bus. I haven't played them, but I, I do have uh, one of those bus games that are, you know, the bus simulator type of thing. I think I have Fern Bus or something. This is a pretty area, though, here in Poland. Nice, pretty spot. And and we have a new rule. We do not blame the traffic on Tracy anymore. Most of the time. Sometimes when you're not feeling well, that's what you just need. You need, like, you know, just that sleep to kind of help the body reset. You know, roundabout coming up. This will definitely qualify for the, the wheel delivery. The Take the first All right, this. Oh, no, no, we don't need to stop. We didn't need to. Especially when you truck my size, you just go. Exit now. All right.
professional driving right there. Oh, as we really go flying through this town. Was that lady pushing the stroller? Ooh. Nice park here. Two of the same people, but with dogs. We'll just, you know, we'll, we'll keep the realism though. We'll pretend like we didn't see it. Pretend like we didn't see the clones. That's really, yeah, a lot of park here. Big pile of uh, dirt in the park. We're too busy. We're delivering those wheels. I'm actually surprised in Poland. I haven't hit a toll yet. There's always tolls. Every time I drive through here. So when I'm not doing the cryptic advice, I'm taking the, 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 the best, the quickest route or whatever. Um, we're not grabbing the gray roads because we're just trying to deliver the five wheels. Oh, we finally got back up the. I can set my cruise. We visited uh, Johnny Hustler's home. Damn it, it just went to. 80. Why go from 80 to 70? I'm sorry, 70 to 80, and then right back to 70 after like a minute? Just stay at 70 then. Man, oh man, they are getting creamed. <sighs> oh, there's Johnny working. Should have waved hello up. I should have. Hey, John. As soon as I change my cruise and I set it to 70, you know what'll happen is I'll be back in an 80 zone. Oh, Ram. He likes me. He really, really likes me. So Rab, uh, earlier, um, Braxis was here and we did learn that if there was ever a snake in his home, um, that he would shit himself multiple times. Thank you for the biddies, Reb. You know, we've also had the discussion about $140 cookies. And we're in Poland right now. We're delivering some Thrustmaster or something, or I forget what number it is now. Steering wheels. And my Sixers are getting destroyed. By the Knicks, which makes it even worse. So those biddies help while, while I'm feeling the pain of my Sixers uh, getting killed. Just set the, we're just gonna set. The, I'm telling you, I just did it. I set the cruise to 70. I guarantee you we're about to go on 180. I got tired of waiting. I believe the Nuggets play after the Sixers are finished being destroyed. We're down by 21. <sighs> so much hope. I'm going. 
Ah, oh, damn it. Damn car's slowing down. What else we have tonight? Tracy um, is recovering from the whiplash from her earlier trip. Cryptic's feeling better. Braxis would shit himself with spiders, and Didge wants $140 cookies. Whole bunch of stuff happening tonight. Man, this part area here, we might as well just call it Nebraska. Oh, I hear train bells. I don't know Tracy's out there, but I'm I'm getting the PTSD from the from the train. We're not gonna hit this one though. Whew. We had an incident a few nights ago while we were driving. And I got towards the train tracks and the lights flashed. And before I could even hit the brakes, the gates came down and we smashed into the train gate. We destroyed some watermelons. Yeah. I started getting scared. The yips, though. Oh, and that was the other thing that happened uh, uh, tonight so far. We, we recapped everything else, but the other thing was that uh, that Tracy remembered the children's book if you give the mouse a cookie. I still, to this day, when you talk about little kids' books, you know, like giving the mouse the cookie or whatever, and I go back, there's two books that I remember, one specifically even to my youth, what, that was read to me, and then I was just so thrilled uh, when I could read it to my kids, and that's Grover's The Monster at the End of This Book. Still love that book. And one day, if I ever have grandchildren, I will read that book to them. But I remember as a kid that book being read to me. It's a classic. There's John. Good old Grover. Yeah. Yeah, I know. We got to do that. And then you're going to regret doing that. I can't. I can't drive with legends like you. You know, with your 7,000 hours in truck sims. That, yeah, that's true. I am close cryptic to trying at some point, even though I know it will not be successful, but it's starting to try to back these guys in and then just not getting the, the XP if I gotta if I gotta wimp out and say never mind. I'm I'm close to doing it. I don't know if I'm quite there yet. Yeah, um, Okay. On the vanilla map. What? That car just stopped. I always, I love the pro mods. The back road. Who was it? DJ Vlad was telling me, you know, some of the idiots that he's dealt with in Truckers MP. You guys thought I was going to smash, didn't you? But so I'm starting to get tempted to try backing it in because once you do that, that's pretty cool. 
but it's and I'm just not ready yet I don't think in well I mean I, I should say I'm probably ready but I know that 99% of the time if not more than 99% of the time I'm gonna have to nope out and just do the auto park oh we're almost there look at that wasn't that bad of a trip and we got one one contract down What sucks is that every town has one of the, the wheel jobs, steering wheel jobs. And by the way, Cryptic, I looked at your video about duplicating profiles and all. That's a whole lot of work. There, there's work involved. Oh boy, we're, we're just speedy McDemon, aren't we? I can't tell. I think I gotta take a left up here. Yeah, we gotta download software and stuff. I was when I, next time Vlad's on, I have to tell him I I forgot. I I was tempted to do the uh, the three monitor deal, but my problem is I have I have a 27 inch 2K, and then I have two 25s on the side, so. It's not gonna, why aren't we moving? Okay. It won't work. So my next temptation though is to get, I don't think I want the, the hat thing with the clip. I, I, but I am interested in maybe that, that eye tracker. Oh, we're going. I didn't see a yellow, I saw green. So I've been, I'm thinking about that. Either that or I gotta buy two more 27 inch 2K monitors. Uh, that, uh, we should do that. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. All right, we got this delivery done. Considering I might get one of those secret lab chairs, I think we'll hold off on the monitors. Get ready to turn left. Oh, I gotta turn on here first. Turn left. All right, boom. Oh boy, we can't we gotta keep the foot on the brake at this spot. There we go. We got it. Hey! You know why I have this is because cryptic peer pressured me into getting it. How are you, Pharma? Well, we got everybody. We had Rab here, we got Didge here, Braxis, Tracy, Cryptic, Ponsa. Lots of, uh, I'm like the Merv Griffin show. All right, where, wait, where are we parking this? We're just going to block traffic while I figure out where the hell we got to put this. All right, there. All right. That's where I thought it was. I'll send you pics of the other thing, farmer. How are you, sir? So the podcast got, we're going to do it Thursday. I'm a diva and I wanted to drive my truck tonight. So I said, I refuse to, uh, to do the cast. Okay. Now it's hopefully we can get in our stealing wheel job. Gonna get four more of them. Okay, here we go. Well, hopefully it's not... Okay, that's doable. So we're going to keep that one. Let's see if there's another one. The town I haven't been to. That's not crazy long. I'm back to Dresden. That's just, I was already just there. We're just looking for steering wheels. 
Okay, that, that's going to take us longer, though. We're trying to get this done, so we're not going to do that one. Oh, uh, that's crazy long. If I didn't want to just bang five of these out, then I would do it. But uh, Okay, that's a long one. Romania's got some beautiful roads on it to drive. Yeah, yeah, we uh, we had to delay it, so we're we're gonna do it um Thursday night. Um, it's all my fault because I'm a diva. All right, we're gonna do this run here, so we can get this will be number two we deliver. I saw the other day um in my Steam pop up that you were playing Scum. Never, I I don't even I, I don't think I own that. We've all been there with Steam games. Do I own that game? I don't remember if I own that game. Are you kidding me? So I delivered wheels here, and I have got to go somewhere else to pick up new wheels? I would assume with you know my shooting skills, that Scum really wouldn't be a game for me anyway if I did own it. Okay, where the hell is the... All right, there's the exit. I don't think I own that though. So I know everybody that's a computer gamer with Steam has at least something on there that they, at one point they thought that they don't own it and then they find out they do own it. I dare anybody that really does, you know, a lot of computer gaming not to have that issue. If, if you don't, you're really disciplined. So fitting to do some zombie runs uh, in Scum right now with Halloween coming up. All right, so we found one that I don't have. Wait, is that the one where you had to you have to pee and everything? Which one was that? Ah, yeah, I didn't get that one. That's right. I think Hustler has it. Look at that. There's one I don't have. <laughs> Jammer just buy done. And then on Steam we all have the embarrassing um the embarrassing let's see where this thing is. I gotta go all the way around, alright. The, the embarrassing where you own the game and you have either the zero or you know point five hours played, you know, we've all done that one. Is it here? Let's see where this thing is. There it is. We got it. Oh, don't hit that. Don't hit that. The key is how many games do you have of that that you've barely touched? That's where the steam the steam steel is not as good as it used to be, but that's where it used to get you. You'd be like, yeah, but the game's only five dollars. I gotta grab it, and then you forget about it. All right, twenty minute run here. I forget where the hell. Where are we going again? I don't even remember. We're going somewhere. Somewhere in Europe. My geography lesson for today. Okay, so this is now delivery number two of the Thrustmaster wheels. We've got three more to grab after this. Don't think we'll get them all done tonight on stream. All just so I can get an achievement and the stupid little plushy thing that if I want to use on my truck. But hey, it's there. We want it. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, those are always fun. We've all had those, too. Oh, we're going. Thank you, Mr. Truck. I'm going whether you're meant to let me out or not. Those are the treat. You know, I have some, like, I don't know what it is with me. Like, uh, Cyberpunk and uh, my 3080 with the ray tracing and all looks phenomenal. I just can't. I don't know. I start playing it and then I just kind of ditch it. And I've said it. I'm just a full. I'm just a truck driver now. Farmer, did you play uh, Left 4 Dead with us back in the day? Get ready. Turn right. Actually, more importantly, when is the new uh, arc map? An island thing or whatever. Yeah. Digital's the only one I know that played a, a lot of cyberpunk. But then there's some island map or something in ARC. I know you're in ARC Wikipedia. All right. Man, just on normal mode when the four, when me, Johnny, and Digital. Um, oh, is it really? Uh oh, wait. So you're saying that arc map is soon? Oh, might be time. Might be time for you to take care of Jammer again. <laughs> if that's the case, might be time to babysit again. Cause that's basically what you got to do. Everybody just babysits Jammer and Arc. Here, take this. Here. Here's this thing. Oh. I don't know if Johnny knows that. He hasn't mentioned anything. Well, I gotta make sure I download ARC. There, yeah. He's still, you know what? You know, I don't want to speak for him, but he, you know, he loves Conan, but Ark is really his love. I mean, he, he, he loves Ark and he finally gave up. He tried for the longest time to, to keep interest in Atlas. And he finally gave up like every once in a while, he'd say, what about, you know, Atlas? I'll, I'm going to get an Atlas server and, uh, and oh yeah, sure. Okay. Whatever. Talk about, talk about a game with hype that just died. Minus uh, Dark Side and, and the roleplay community that had it going for a while. Yeah, I and I remember they they blew the launch for all these things. I remember it launched. So many people were hyped for Atlas and then it didn't launch and they had like it was a mess see I need a combo I, I need the building and the look of arc uh, of Conan I love the dinos and the different colors and all that like that and and um and arc is great so if like you could build if you could combine the the build looks of Conan with the dinos of Ark. It's perfect. That's your winning game. Yeah, and Rust, I mean, Rust, see, yeah, Rust is a great game, but unless you're on some server with people, like if you're just kind of screwing around like we did, and we did try to do that, that PVP build up thing, but it just, it, yeah. It does, but then it's like, yeah. There's some cool things in Rust. I mean, Scum, I don't know that well, obviously. I mean, I know Scum, even though I never played it. I'll tell you what's a fun survival game, even though I haven't played a ton of it. It's one of those I've played a minor amount is uh, Green Hell.
That game's pretty cool. And you know what's amazing is like uh, farmers all out of all of my clips and the role playing I've done and all that type of stuff. Oh, green hell for you. That's crazy to say, but out of all the clips, I think the most popular clip on my channel and the most the most viewed chip a uh, clip goes back four years ago or five years ago in I think it was Atlas. Yeah. Um, with with me um, in that little uh, runty dude before I had to go XLR or anything and I was and the, the hitting on Ditch is like by far my vote most viewed clip so it never got better from there yeah yep hitting on Ditch in the boat I should have quit then because I've never had a clip viewed as much as that one and that was before I was role playing or anything I mean that was just me being an idiot now that we have some alone time. And I still remember that I remember you when you first ran into my character and I, I had the clip somewhere and your response was, oh my God. My little uh, chop wood dude. I, I, so once in a while I watched that clip of even the, the time you found me and the oh my god So earlier farmer we got to get your opinion on this now so a digital all was shopping and had in this cart a hundred and forty dollar for a dozen cookies He did not buy them but what kind of cookie would you spend $140 for a dozen of them? Yeah. Yeah, it won't Loompa made it, I think. He had them in the cart, and then he saw the price and was like, nope some luxury cookie which I'm not even going to say the brand white chocolate so there you go so earlier I talked about Oreos and and in the Oreo division see mine's similar they're crazy expensive I love the mint fudge chocolate covered ones but so the same yeah That's the luxury cookie, yes. Th those chocolate covered Oreos. Right, is this one of these keeps left that I gotta keep left, really? Or I can stay in this lane and just don't get off. See? Yeah, some people don't like the mint. Yeah, it, yeah, the white because it's like the, the white covered is like a cho is a Christmas type of deal. Uh, is she gonna tell me to turn left or no? Exit left. Oh, now she tells me. We almost drove right past. Yeah, because they're like they're like a wintertime special. Those white the white ones, the white fudge. Mint, so that's the same thing. Like, my wife does not like the mint chocolate stuff. Now, like, you know, I, I, you know, unfortunately, my kids ended up liking them, like the Girl Scout Thin Mints. Um, you know, and a sleeve of that is a one sitting. I think I just hit a body uh, with how my truck just reacted. Uh, wait, oh, finally hit a toll. 
Where's those yellow ones that I can just drive through the cryptic told me about? There's not one here. So yeah, sometimes that's good though, right, Tracy? When you like something and you know your spouse or your kids don't because then they're all yours. I have some of those things and it's like, I know nobody's going to eat them because I'm the only one that likes it. You don't have to share a family. So the thin mints you put in the freezer? So speaking of candy and stuff with Halloween coming, oh, Oreos, okay. Uh, the white chocolate ones, probably. So um, here at school, we have a, uh, you know, trunk or treat for students coming up. And so we ask families to donate, you know, chocolate so we can hand it out. And uh, uh, my, where my office is on campus is in an old house, an old farmhouse. We have there's a kitchen there and everything. And I have I've never seen this before, and I didn't know it existed. But there is a heaven. It was a tub, and I'm not kidding, a tub of 375 Reese's pieces, uh, Reese's peanut butter cups, a giant vat of 375 Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. You see that jerk just put his brakes on? Now, somebody I work with has a peanut allergy and they called it a tub of death. I know, I was so, yeah. And those, see, I can eat them without freezing them or freezing them. 13 euros, come on. But I, I've never, I've never heard of, of, of a packaging that has 375 of those things. It's crazy. Oh, there goes a plane. Look, a plane. It was like a giant tub right. with a handle. And those, I mean, I like them normal, but freezing them. Now, I don't like them a little. You know when sometimes they've been out and they get a little of that melty, so like there's a little bit of chocolate residue on the fingers. Don't like it that way. I was good and I didn't even take one of them. Well, that truck's just going. I don't know what the hell their worlds are in Europe, man, but he's just like, I'm going. That's the beauty when you drive in the Europe game. Yeah, I have no idea what the, the laws are with the ro roads. Question for tomorrow. 24 hours ago. You know, a question for tomorrow. And I didn't get to hear your voicemail. Oh, the, your Twitter thing. That's right. You're doing your weekly Twitter uh, question. Go straight on. It took me a minute. I got it. So, yeah, I remember. I pay attention. The hustler on the other side, he wouldn't remember. Did you like that uh, I had posted that candy chart with the psychopaths and and all those candies and I was telling my kids um, I forget what what it fell under what category and that that candy um, Halloween candy thing 
but I legit remember as a, as a in my youth of people um, g you know going back and dumping out all my candy and a box of raisins people people gave boxes of raisin yes Thursday night come hell or high water I won't be a diva and demand the drive that night But yeah, I mean, come on, raisins? But that, oh my God, look at that road coming up. Oh boy. Wait, that's something. All right, oh, sorry. Don't don't look at your watch and, and drive, folks. Especially when you see a road that looks like this one. This kind of sucks. This would be nice to drive in the daytime to see it. But yeah, I remember those days of, like you get the raisins and you're like, are you kidding me? I worked hard walking door to door up and down your driveway. And the best you got for me is raisins. I remember Tracy and you said about the McDonald's coupons. Yes, which I did like those. But in a sense, once again, I'm doing a lot of work and I'm sure from now think about it now like I think about it now as a parent right because I don't do those coupons my kids never got one of those like I did and now if you're a parent and my kid comes home and they're like look I got a coupon to drive to make now I'm like oh, I'm like oh god damn it now I have to go drive and do your work because you didn't have candy at your house and you gave out these McDonald's coupons oh so you had a see I grew up in a development I had 111 houses so I would have a pillowcase that I would use um, and it would be full. But as a parent, man, I'd be pissed like if my kid came to me with a McDonald's coupon. Like now I got to go because because you didn't buy candy. I got to go drive to McDonald's now and hope the damn ice cream machine works for my kid to get their coupon turned in. Yeah, see now where I live, where I am now, the closest one to me is 20, probably 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes. In my other home, it's like 40 minutes away. The oh, Sixers are going to lose. I'm trying to think raisins might be the winner for the lamest though. I mean, even if you're a kid and you like raisins, uh, when you're trick or treating, you, you don't want raisins. You never want raisins. And if you do, then you've never tasted the joy of candy. And you also like you always you always all know the home that gives out the full the, the big bopper not the little fun size crap like the big one and like those people are like royalty like oh my god they're giving out a full snicker size bar oh. all right Nope, we're concentrating on the road. We got it. Oh, damn, it's 90 here. I like this area. But I don't remember when I was younger, the, sh the ice cream machine being broken all the time when I was a kid at McDonald's. I'm trying to remember. I don't think it was. Not like nowadays. damn truck is not gonna or the bus we're doing 70 in the 90 now no matter where in the world you are oh 
always is the case. So I assume if you're in an apartment complex that you got Buko on the um, on the treats at Halloween. See, now granted as well, growing up when I did in the, you know, in the 70s at the time, you know, where we had those the plastic apron and then the mask with the elastic that dug uh, is probably still a little rut in the back of my skull from a digging in and then you couldn't see and it had like a breathe hole like that big it, it was like the it was lazy man halloween in the 70s and everybody used those things man that was i wonder what what why they went out because that was that was like the way to dress up and everybody in the neighborhood had them damn things on. Turn left. Oh, goodness, flashing yellow. this turn we're getting close almost there ah sixers Thank goodness the speed limit went back up. Once again, though, I don't know if I want to do 90 around that curve down there. Oh, yeah? Let's race the cop. Uh-huh. Try and go around me, copper. I can see us losing control. We gotta slow it down. We slow it down. Who's trying to pass me again? Wasn't the, wasn't the police that time. Man, I got Thrustmaster wheels back in here, dude. We gotta be careful. my fuel by the way all right we're good on fuel oh we're clearly going downhill I believe it's still 90 in this area. That's crazy. Keep left and then turn left. All right, where's this turn? Turn left. Hopefully we get another stealing wheel contract here and then we're well on our way. We'll be at 60%. See how I did that math? One of these red lights when there's nobody around. And I can't see it.
Wow, man, you can speed through this town. I don't think they want me to go straight. Unless we want to drive off the map. Get ready to turn right. All right, I'm going to make the stop, then I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. Turn right. All right, two down of these steering wheel deliveries. You have arrived at your destination. Yay! Let's decouple it. All right. Let's uh let's get it us way on the fancy picture while I go away real quick. And then we'll look for another steering wheel job. There we go. All right. I'm going to um, step away real quick and then I'll be back in a minute. Let's get back to see if we can get another steering wheel contract. Professional driver, I made sure I used the rest uh, rest stop here. All right, we got two of them done. Should have been doing this the other night when they first started it. Okay, now we don't want long trip. Like I want to go to Italy sometime, but man, we're not doing one. Of the we're, we're trying to do quick shots. It's getting closer. 
They really want them in this town in Italy, apparently. Romania. Okay. We haven't gone there yet tonight. Maybe we go to Romania instead of going back up. Like I said, I'm not going to get all five of them tonight. But you have until November 7th or something. We just did that drive. Oh, Sweden. That's going to be way longer. Yeah. All right. So the Poland trip was seven hours. If the remaining ones away a little bit longer, we'll do that one. I remember where the hell it was. Uh, it's 11 hours. But wait, I think that's a town I haven't been to. Oh, there Romania wins because uh, another city I haven't been to. So we won't get them all done tonight, but. Now we're going to go through Hungary and then into Romania. Or Slovakia. I might need a gas stop too on this one. All right, of course my trailer's not here. All right, I think we got to back out to get out of here. Yeah. We'll probably, I guess, see how the distance is, but my guess is we'll get some fuel on this trip. Oh, actually, I still have a decent amount. We'll double check, though. Um, if I, I hoard fuel. Turn right. Yes, ma'am. All right, so we'll take these wheels through Hungary. We're going to start in Slovakia, go to Hungary, and then Romania. Turn left. That truck coming. I see a truck coming. We don't want to get hit. Keep left and then turn left. We're just a steering wheel delivery machine tonight. Okay. Um, Mr. Trailer. Right, here we go. That's right, you did stream today. Wow, that's awesome, Cryptic. I did see on Twitter that you were, uh, that you streamed today. That's awesome you picked up all those followers too. Oh, this is a long one. You know, uh, fun fact about Jammer, I have never played a Jackbox game. I've watched one of my friends stream a Jackbox, but I, I have never played one. Yeah, the cryptic, he's unfollowing. It's an unfollow right there. Never coming to my stream again. All right, so if I see a gas on the way, I will stop. Um, so we have enough fuel for this trip. 
and I'm definitely, unless I stay up really late tonight, I'm definitely not going to get all five wheels tonight. Just all for those little toys that we get in the game, Cryptic. You know, that's the only reason that you do these things. Is just so you can... And I'll probably never use the thing that goes here. The little pedals or whatever they're giving away. But you still do see those World of Truck events and then you want to do them. Yep, the, the thingy. We got two in the morning. All right, going towards sunrise a little bit. I got to keep in mind the time on the next job I take. Keep right and then turn right. It's funny because I think the minimum is like 250 kilometers. I've seen, I have yet to come across any job um, for this uh, for this event that's that short. So I don't know what planet they're on thinking that they're there's jobs that short. I guess if you just happen to be in the I don't know if you happen I guess if you happen to be in the town. Keep left and then turn left. Turn left. The only thing is I don't think I'm hitting gray roads cryptic, which I know you you're anti Oh, I just went. I just went like I could just do what I wanted on these roads. But I'm, I'm looking against that while I'm just trying to do the event. Hopefully that is acceptable. No, actually though, I haven't been on this road, so we got one. Cruise set. Even though it looks like I have to get off the get off and take a left up here a little bit, or take a right to get on. But and here comes the rain. I might need the high beams down here. It's dark. All right. This is anti cryptic here, but we're going to just stop and get fuel uh, since it's right here. Convenient. We have enough for the trip, but this way, this way we we'll don't have to get it later. If I, that way I don't forget. One oh seven. Look at that. I'm like I'm like professional level uh, fueler. I hope nobody's coming. Oh, I see somebody. I don't know, 90, 90 kilometers uh, uh, an hour on this road seems a little fast.
You know what's stupid is I keep forgetting the name, uh, which model steering wheel we're delivering. And I kept forgetting to look at Truckee, which tells me right there, rather than having to look at the side of the uh, trailer. Oh, yep, yeah, I'll get on my side of the road. Well, now it's 80. Some of the drives I did in Romania were really nice. Dude, give me a second, man. He's flashing it before he was even near me. See? They're impatient people. Not that I really need them here, but... That time, that was my bad that time. Actually, it's not as dark here. Oh, you know why? It's starting to get near sunrise. Guarantee you, as soon as I hit 90, if as soon as I hit the cruise control up to 90, it'll drop back to 80. Or not. Yeah, I, you know. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! We didn't do that. You know what's amazing is what I was about to say is that this seems a little fast for this road, the speed limit. All right, we did, we did a slight bit of damage there to the vehicle. It's okay. We're okay. We recovered though. Oh, I wasn't paying attention again. We almost... We almost did it again. Yeah, I am. I am not. I am. We're, we're struggling all of a sudden. Okay. Time to regroup, Jammer. You're a professional. We need to regroup. We got a job to do. Oh boy, that was a little rough patch. Turn right. Little bit of a rough patch. But we're we're all alive. Nobody get hurt. what my night was last night before this nor'easter moved in it started with thunderstorms We have 
Some pretty good lightning with the storm last night. Utah and Denver. Turn left. Okay, it's not a four-way stop. We, uh, this kills me when they do this. I mean, I'll start going, but it's like, I don't. I hate when the AI traffic does this. like they'll stop but then they start going I can't believe we didn't run off the road earlier. Oh, gee, I mean, was it a Prius in front of me? This guy's killing me. He's killing me. I saw that speedy dude. And all right, we can cruise back on. Hopefully, we can keep it going. Somebody watch the road for me. Thank you. All right, so 503 kilometers to go. Coming out of the rain, that's good. Smooth sailing now. I'm doing the wrong speed. I got all these cars flying by me. Oh, good. Another road we haven't been on. That's good. We like seeing that gray get colored in. Oh, nice. Wind. Wind power.
Okay, why why we go so slow? Though I do like the fact sometimes the traffic there's spots where it hits a little bit slower and stuff. That way it makes you feel more like you're really driving. I mean, without turning the traffic all the way up. Truck, truck, truck. Oh, oh, no, no, I'm sorry, buddy. I had my signal on. We didn't see him spin out and his car explode. Nobody saw it, right? Oh, no, I see nothing. Wait, I'm going to Romania, but I'm dropping this off at Air France? The hell would I just drive to France? And then continue straight on. Go straight on. She's happy. She hasn't had to tell me what to do for a little while. She's all happy. GPS and I have that love-hate relationship. I like these things where I, I've been able to just keep the cruise on at the same speed for a while. It's nice. Get off to the red X exit. And then continue straight on. I don't think that's a good sign for our lives. Go straight on. Don't go that way, Mr. Truck Driver. There's red X's. Uh, two lanes, Go one lane. On. Two lanes, one lane. Oh, we're just a little bit under halfway there. Speeding, huh? Get a little radar gun on these guys. Uh, finally getting off of this road. Keep right and then exit right. Exit right.
cruise back going. More than halfway there now. Oh, damn you. It's one of these 80 to 70, back to 80 probably in a minute. You know, we're professionals. We don't speed much. Unlike that gentleman who just flew by me. Go straight on. I'm going to say he better turn or he's going to end up going straight when my truck hits him. We should turn left in a minute. Once again, we don't want to go to Red X land. Turn left. Assuming we're in Hungary by now. Right? We gotta be in Hungary, right? Of course, it doesn't tell you, but that's Slovakia, Hungary. Yeah. So we're in Hungary. We're. Now we are gonna have to stop out of a border check when we get to Romania. Check our papers. Interesting that you know some countries you just drive right through. Oh, that's why. And my cord was like in my slipper, and I couldn't figure out what that was. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. I'm so used to going. I I didn't think about. Actually looking to see if cars were coming. I right, got the cruise running again. 280 kilometers ago. Steering wheel job number three. to measure this chair so I can buy a rep upgrade my chair try maybe do it before I go to bed and podcast normally we'd be doing the podcast tonight but we will do it Thursday night live Tracy's uh, voicemail will stew for a couple more days. Go straight on. I felt like I should go straight on. There's 
some tiny bug that likes my light. Uh, my key, my key lights uh, keeps catching my eye. Well, we're clearly going downhill with the speed we're hitting. Because I have the cruise on. Alright, everybody act normal. Keep right and then exit right. Okay, don't don't look suspicious. Exit right. Don't look suspicious. Don't don't act weird. You have anything you shouldn't have? Hide it really quick. Okay, just, just smile and wave. Smile and wave. Okay, we got through. Good, good job so far, everybody. Uh, minus the fact that I'm... Oh, we can, we'll go this. It's all right. It's okay. We're okay. Well, that's a pretty cool truck. All right, everybody, everybody, nobody looks suspicious again. Everything's normal. You just have a truck full of steering wheels. That's it. Okay, you don't mind the man up there staring at us. And then drive through the gates. Wow. You guys did great. They let us go through really quick. Oh, wait. We're not done. We're going to be thorough. We left the one. Now we got to get into this. We got to get into Romania now. If not, we're in between countries. Oh, they're taking longer. They're taking longer. I'm starting to sweat. Oh boy. Oh. Phew. I thought we were done. Oh, I'm hitting that car if he tries to get in my way. Yep, he deserved it. I hope I broke his car. Jerko deserved that one. All right, we're in Romania. Oh, that's right. Keep left and then turn left. Turn left. Oh, okay. You want to stop for me? Sure. Yeah, sure. Thanks, guys. That's so friendly of them. Even though I'm in their way. Get ready to turn right. On a train. Trains, trains, trains.
That's some serious train gates right there. I've been liking this is the pretzel blue station. I've been liking this one. Another train. Those rails are busy. After this one, we'll see if there's some short one we can do. Can't do another long one. Well, I can, but then I pay for it tomorrow. the turns turn left that's cool we can see that train down the way paying that loan Oh, that truck's gonna go, isn't he? Oh, he didn't. He didn't go. Oh, this is pretty. It's really pretty. The, the speed really drops quick, like seventy fifty. Stop and get some food at somebody's house here. I don't know what that's an ad for. I've seen that one before. Was this the trip or the one before? I'm trying to remember where the one I was not doing well for a moment and was all over the place. Oh, that's pretty. That's awesome. Train going by. I almost slammed into the guardrail.
Gonna take a left up here. See that move? That was a move right there. And we're not doing 80 around these curves, I'll tell you that. Look at this road. There's no lines. They're just like, eh, go where you want on this road. Minus the shoulders. So close. Turn right. Look at all the time I'm annoyed by a vehicle with a bus. I need a bunch of cookies after my just our talk earlier and candy. As soon as I get to eighty, it's go back down to seven. Curse you roads. I can remember I gotta fix the vehicle at some point too. After our little uh, incident. We discovered a town. We did it. We're explorers discovering towns. there here it's Big town, man. Turn left. All right, we're going to unlock something, too, with a question mark up ahead. Trap. 
traffic. We're, we're not moving. I think I'm done. Not all these cars were taking laps, man. It was gonna be a while. <clears throat> Somebody needs to cut some grass over there. I think we'll look to see if there's any wheels that are Keep on the shorter right. side or right. if not maybe call it oh please tell me i'm going to be able to unlock this place sometimes you got to drive into them All right, i'm going to regret it but we want to unlock it even if I gotta do some wackadoo turnaround. There, we got it. Yeah, we're just gonna back right in the street because that's what kind of driver I am at, at this time of night. Traffic will stop, I'm sure. Turn right. Oh, look at that, like a professional. Oh, don't jackknife it. That's okay. This is what we wanted to do. There, we got that recruitment place unlocked. I hate when they're like that, though, and that's the only thing you can do. Turn right. This is kind of creepy. Almost sounds like the soprano song, the voice, but the got yourself a gun. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. Watch this move, see? Now we're out of here. Now it's our road. It's our road now. A trolley? Oh, it's one of those jobs where the trolley where we're driving right on it. Well, that truck was going, I swear. I'm going to roundabout. Now that we just set the cruise, as always. We 
got it. Oh, we got three of them done tonight. Got two more to finish, and it's by November 7th, so plenty of time. Just like to get them banged out. I said, I, I don't know why we didn't just deliver them. Oh boy. Uh, why we didn't just drive to France, but you know. Hey, they don't pay me to think, they pay me to deliver. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Uh, some, so some uh, airport in Romania. We did it. I can figure out where the hell I think I got to go over here. Oh, what? Oh, man. I hate when it gets like this. Make sure I don't hit that gate. Sometimes it's not easy to know where the hell to park these things. And there's no man at the gate telling me where to go. Alright, Air France. I doubt there's a short one, so this is probably going to be it for tonight. We're still looking for those wheels. So close. All right, we'll just look to see real quick before. Oh, that one, man. Holy crap, that's a drive. It'd be fun to do, but when you're just trying to bang out five steering wheel drives. Can't do that tonight. Oh. Yeah, I've been there. What time is it? Eh. That jump's not bad, but I'm going to be done, I think. Yeah. All right, let's call it a night. Sorry, uh, podcast didn't happen. That will happen on Thursday. Uh, Stream-wise for me, I will um, not be available tomorrow night. Um, Thursday night, I'll have the podcast. We'll probably do one on Friday because on Saturday and Sunday, I will not be able to either. Um, so 
maybe a couple more, you know, one more this week, and then we'll get back on it next week. So thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. We'll see you Thursday at the podcast.